In downtown Tyler, Texas, there is an iconic barbershop called Rudy's. The owner's name is Rodolfo, but he goes by Rudy. Um, it was more uh, easier to say Rudy than Rodolfo, so I went with Rudy. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was more catchy. His journey started when he was three years old and he moved from Mexico to Tyler. I am originally from Mexico and I was brought to uh, the United States when I was three. After high school, his journey led him to open up a barber shop in downtown Tyler. When I first started, it was on uh, 1304 East Gentry. I uh, stayed there. I owned a shop there for nine years there, and then we've been over here for eight years. We moved it eight years ago over here, so we've been here eight years now, so 17 years all together. His no passions are? Uh, watching sports. <laughs> I don't play sports. I used to play sports. I used to have a, a softball team there for years, for about 10 years, me and my buddy and my brothers, we ran it. But now mostly it's just uh, watching a lot of sports, being active. Uh, other than that, it's uh, haircuts and uh, sports. My two passions, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm raising my kids, you know. He loves the area that his shop is in. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I do like the spot. I like being downtown. It gives it gives it a, a good you know a good feel around when you're down being downtown. My old location, I was uh, up a uh, 231. I mean 271. And uh, cars can just zoom by. It's a little small location. And here, you got a street, but you know they, they what's the speaking in the 35, I think, in, in town, something like that. So they they can see the building better now, and you people can walk around. So it gives it gives for better, I don't know, better business, I guess. Pretty much, a lot more people around. His favorite thing about being in the barbershop is... I mean, in conversations, like I said, talking to people, meeting new people. People you normally wouldn't even have a conversation if you're walking down the street, you know, but when, when you come to a shop, it uh, allows for more communication with other people outside who you normally would talk to. He has always known he would be a barber one day. I think it was what I was meant to do, I mean, pretty much. I mean. I was when I, when I was younger. I just messed around with the clipper, just played around with them, and then met the right person. Taught me, uh, taught me the trait, and then after that, just put me on this uh, barbering little adventure that I've started. And it's been 17 years. And I've been loving it. I like it. Get to meet people, you know, good conversation. And he hopes to be doing this for. Voila, man. Many years to come.